Well, this is it, guys. This is our moment of truth. Is ADA going to continue on the path that it's on right now, confirming a breakout, moving to the upside, breaking through moving averages and, and trends and liquidity, and trying to set a new cycle high, or are we going to get pushed back down here? That's really the big question. Now, first and foremost, ADA is slightly broken out right now. We're just above our liquidity box between 58 cents to 64 cents. It's an area, again, that we love to live in. We've been there for a long time, okay? Not recently, but ADA, ADA likes to live in there. You guys can see that, right? And right now, we are sitting just above. We're back in this gap. That's a great sign. We got to fight through this gap before we try to set new highs here, okay? And right now, we're getting kind of pushed down by some of these moving averages, now, what has happened on the daily, which is a great sign, is that we have broken above this 50-day moving average, and we're now approaching that 20-day moving average. Now, we've we've had to deal with this before. Last time we were down below the 50-day moving average, you can see ADA kind of played with it for about a week and a half. It went above it, dropped below it, fought it, got rejected, and then finally broke above. This was a nice, nice move above here. Now, really what we need to see, and like I've said many times before, is we just need some more strength from the market. We need big steps forward this week in terms of BTC. Right now, BTC is looking pretty good. It's at 66.8 currently at the time of filming this video. You know, it's crazy because now when we think of like $66,000 BTC, we're like, oh my gosh, that's that's terrible. We're not doing great. <laughs> it's, it's like 5% off of what the prior all-time high was, which is insane, less than 5%. But what we need is retail to continue to step up in a big way. People need to realize that this move that we're experiencing right now in terms of ADA, this move that we're experiencing in terms of BTC, this is all retail. This is all despite being dumped on by institutional money all week. And yet we've moved to the upside. Right now, guys, retail wants the charts to move higher. In terms of ADA, in terms of BTC, we're setting the direction here. So the question is, is can we have another week where retail does enough to continue pushing prices up. Now, I want to remind people, we're approaching some big leverage positions, some big leverage liquidation positions in terms of BTC. If we can break above basically, what is it, 67, 68K, somewhere in that range, this ball can start to roll really fast. We can make quick, quick movements to the upside. And I want to remind people, ADA tends to tackle this gap very, very quickly. Look at the, look at the, uh, not the liquidity. Look at the wicks that we see in here. You can see almost, almost all these wicks in this range, they span the entire the entire length of this gap, which is insane, right? ADA, a coin that some people say is a stable coin and it doesn't really move that much, for it to move almost a 10% move on each and every one of those, one of those, you know, times, right, on the four hour chart is is quite insane. So it's possible that if we get enough momentum from the charts today or not even just today, over the course of the week, if we get even enough momentum from BTC, don't be surprised if ADA can move from $0.64 cents to $0.68 cents like that. It does not take much to get the ball rolling. Once you have FOMO kick in, once you have retail jumping back on, once you have all that liquidity and, and capital that's positioned to buy right now, once they start saying, oh, crap, we got to buy because the charts are moving up, well, then that's all she wrote. That's how we get our breakout. That's how we move up to this next range of liquidity. That's how ADA tries to take more stabs at this, this cycle high that we've experienced just a few weeks ago. So I appreciate you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I want to hear if you think we're going to have enough momentum this week to really make some stabs at the upside. But appreciate you guys. Have a great day. Catch you in the next one. Take care.